Hey, here is the genus Geisoriza. So this genus is completely restricted to South Africa near the Cape. Here is Geisoriza radiance, which is a small perfect jewel for plant growers. But uh, the species is quite difficult to maintain for some years. It, it easily gets weak after a few years. Uh, in May is best to sow it, uh, to sow it whenever you can. Here we are with Geisoriza radiance. I think this species is one of the most impressive in its genus. So it's growing wild in South Africa and Southwest Cape between uh, towns named Darling and Paul. So it has a really restricted area of growing. It's growing on dam sites like near stream banks and so on on sandy granitic soils. And often it can form real carpets of flowers at the good season. And the flowers are really striking on both sides. It's sometimes growing with Sparaxis elegans, which is another bulbous species with striking flowers, so it can make a great mix. <clears throat> In culture, this species is quite uneasy uh, because it does not support to dry too much in summer uh, and more it's really sensible to rot so it's quite a challenging plant for bulbous plants growers Geisoriza corrugata one of the most impressive in its genus for its twisted glaucous leaves and the bright shiny uh, yellow flowers it's coming from the Kau in South Africa. It's not of the easy, one of the easiest in culture, but it's it's not impossible. Here is Geisoriza splendidissima. So this one is a really blue striking flower, a really delightful plant. Uh, it's growing wild on northeast. Uh, Northwest uh, Cape in South Africa, near Darling and oh, near Newville. It's a town uh, just near the Bochwald Plateau. This place is a really famous place for bulbul plants. We found we find a lot there, and this one is growing there in clay soils. But as you can see there, in culture we use. Uh, sandy soils and it's really well adapted to sandy soils uh, but it, this one is quite uneasy in culture because it doesn't support to be too much dried in summer uh, and more it can rot if it's too much humid so it's quite a challenge like many other guys already